On the whole, the American women dress better than the Australians. Not that they are neater or more carefully dressed, but their gowns are more modish and more elaborate than the average Australian would care to burden herself with. Our evening gowns compare very favorably with those of our cousins across the Atlantic, but for street wear, our clothes are freer and more sporty. They have an admirable feeling of national pride, and I think it is this which spurs them to entertain visitors so lavishly. I fully realize their hospitality and kindness to me was to a representative of the country which the Americans love, and they tried to show Australia through us all that their nation is capable of doing. This national pride, though splendid in many respects and worth cultivating more in our own land, is so strong as to almost blind the people to the merits of any country beside their own. Many were absolutely astounded to learn that Australia was greater in area than the United States. Some of them confided to me that they thought it was possible to travel around our continent in a day. The Americans are charming and wonderful people, and they live in a great country. But throughout the tour, I could not help saying to myself, we Australians have more cause to be proud of our country than they of theirs. We live in a corner of the globe, right away from the rest of the world, and yet look at the progress we have made in the little time that has elapsed since the first settlement. Australia has wonderful possibilities, and our duty as sons and daughters of this great and glorious commonwealth is to pull together irrespective of social, political, or religious differences and work for the benefit of the community instead of for individual gain. It is in our hands to make this, our own Australia, what it should be, the greatest country in the world.